is an application engineer in Bcom. Okay. Uh, the topic of my presentation is unlock your design potential draft with draft side your ultimate to be captain. In this presentation, we'll explore draft side user friendly interface and its essential features that facilitate easy creation and modification of drawings. We will also learn how to work with legacy drawings that include dynamic blocks and how to import and modify PDF drawings within DraftSide. Furthermore, we will examine DraftSide annotation capabilities which enable the creation of production ready drawings. Then Draft will see with the DraftSide toolbox which provides a library of over 7000 standard components including screws nuts, bolts, washer, holes, and pins. We will utilize this extensive library to assess how quickly it assists us in creating a drawing. In addition to the tools of drawing creation and modification, DraftSide offers power tools that assist in various drawing related operations, such as comparing drawings, generating G code from the DXF files, converting raster images to vector entities and transforming topographic images into 3D solid reliefs. We will then customize application and bring some lips file within the draft. Finally, we will have glimpse of 3D environment, sheet set manager and then summarize our presentation. Now, we will just see, uh, start with the application. So first we'll see with the draft site user interface. Let's move on to the application. The CAD application. The CAD application you see on my screen is draft site enterprise plus in the light mode. You can also switch to the dark mode. You can need to just restart the application for the changes to take effect. Unlike other CAD applications, we can easily open drawing work on them. Save them in older version of DWG file such as uh, release 2018 to R12. By default, draft site Enterprise Plus comes with three working environments. First, we are seeing is drafting annotation environment. The user interface is in the ribbon format. The next is the classic environment. If you prefer working with the toolbars and menus, this environment is available. The next is the 3D modeling environment. Use this environment to conceptualize your ideas in 3D. Draft site is flexible, allowing you to maximize your working space by minimizing the ribbon. If you find the palette location uncomfortable, you can easily drag and place it wherever you prefer. The quick access toolbar, status bar, command window remain the same. Drawing tab shows which drawings are currently open in the application. If you hover the mouse over a specific drawing, it provides a nice preview giving you an idea of what the drawing is all about. The overall user interface makes you feel right at the home. So we'll just take a overview of the draft side user interface. So it's a familiar user interface. So we can switch between the user interface. There are two modes available in it. So some one which is your light mode and the other is in your dark mode. So just switching between these two modes, you just need to do some settings in the mode and then just restart your application. Conveniently, you can work on your DWG files and save them uh, in the versions as mentioned from R2018 version to R12 version. Now, next 
will be seeing is the draft side essential tools when it comes to creating drawing draft side has familiar tools components keyboard shortcuts and aliases working in the same way for example commands like l for line o for circle rec for rectangle among many other functions work the same is a snap and e snap settings remain unchanged additionally draft site offers unique tools such as heads up toolbar that helps us in modification the quick toolbar easily allows you to copy move rotate a single entity operation draft site smart select feature allows you to easily select similar entities within the drawing and perform operations on them all at once the power trim command allows you to easily entity trimming by simply dragging the mouse cursor onto the entity similarly the same command can be used to extend the entity by pressing the shift key the array command feature is familiar interface that we are already comfortable working with can associate entities applying horizontal and vertical facing distance and easily create pattern Etching a drawing adds meaning and helps differentiate material areas. Draft site hatch tool, a familiar tool, assists us creating different type of etch and pattern. The contextual ribbon. easily help us in selecting the options that i am looking draftfit has a minimum learning curve simply install the application and we will just start using it and these are all the layers options available over here so we can just switch between the layers uh, which we are comfortable with just change the layers as per our requirement and do some changes in it just rename all those so we'll just take a summary of the draft site essential tools so as you can see there are some familiar tools and shortcut keys available uh, in the application and some advanced tools which will help you in creating and uh, required like drawing files and modify the drawing as per our requirement and with the familiar layer manager tool which will help us in Uh, managing our layers as per our requirement the next will be seeing is the dynamic block pdf import draftfit supports a dynamic block moreover we can create our own intelligent block called custom block to call a block we can simply type li we can have been using this shortcut for a long time and then are integrated in our muscle memory we can edit the dynamic block already present in the drawing when we try to edit a dynamic block in draft site it prompt us to choose what we would like to do within the dynamic block we can either edit new block definition alternatively we can convert it into a draft site custom block which retains the original definition but also allows us to modify or add our own block definition the block editor in the draft site is an dedicated environment for block authority 
it allows us to create and modify block geometry attributes parameters action and functions once the drawing is created you can easily print it by applying uh, appropriate settings or batch print such files which include lot of sheets in it with different print configuration as needed so here is an example of batch print quality we get with the different pages set up so this is an example of the batch print which we have done in it in draft site we have capability to import export attach different type of files we can import files such as dgn file from macro station sat files pdf files tell me xml files svg files we can also export files to pdf format and various other format additionally we can attach drawing files dgn files pdf files and image let us use pdf file as an example for the demonstration purpose we can insert content from pdf file as a block in our drawing the available options allow us to specify preferences for converting pdf files we can have when importing a pdf file into draft site the software performs the following operation the text line in the pdf file are converted into the text entities using fonts embedded in the pdf file the graphics in the pdf file are converted into images files stored on the hard disk these images in the drawing where the pdf file is imported we can also attach pdf file as a reference to the current drawing allowing to utilize it further for our work by the way i made a for design resource to include block from the other drawing we can make use of design resources palette to access resources and content from the drawing on your computer or network places to which you are connected we can import blocks references drawing layers line style dimension style text style table style see it into the current the pdf export functionality in draft site provides us with more options to customize the exported pdf files ensuring optimum quality so we just Take a overview of the dynamic block and the PDF import. So it's a familiar uh, application available over here to create and modify your dynamic block, custom blocks, which are already available with you. So then also you can make use of uh, easy print options available in the application. You can also batch print your drawing files, and then you can import your PDF drawings and work upon them in the application. now just uh, a poll questions from my side so you can just scan this poll questions and you can answer your uh, questions okay we'll just take uh, two minutes for it so just please scan this question and answer the question and just please submit the form We'll end up this poll question in two minutes.
तो पारे में तो यार we'll wait for one another minute and then we'll again process with our further presentation So we'll uh, again proceed with our further presentation slides. So uh, next topic on the presentation is annotation. So the toolbox dimensions are. Uh, there are some weird dimensions so we can create uh, dimensions by capability of the we can also choose the baseline continuous and ordinate dimension applying along from the origin that will select so here we are selecting the continuous dimension line we can choose we can manually select the entities that would we would like to be part of the auto dimension the dimension palette is our work by giving us options to define limit fit precision and make more when we try to modify dimensions we can then save settings as favorite and can utilize it as and when needed So tolerance dimension and functionality helps us to precisely define geometry and make production ready drawing. Draft type mat leader easily allow to apply various type of leaders. Are in datum symbol over here. Then we'll see with the graphite annotation tool. Also assist in easily adding notes with the. Spelling checker. Add markup and wipe out sections of a geometry. Add leader, multi-leader symbols, and many more draft types as right tools to create production ready. So we'll just take an overview of this annotation. So the familiar annotation tools will help us in applying. Uh, dimensions to your geometry with the right tool set available over here uh, with the advanced annotation capability you can make use of the uh, dimension capabilities like baseline continuous dimension to add dimensions to your uh, drawing file from the origin with the right tools to create production ready drawing it will help us in creating your uh, customized drawing files For you. Next is your toolbox, which is available in the Draftlet application. So the toolbox contains more than seven thousand component library, which contains screw, nut, bolt, washers with the standard like ANSI, DIN, ISO, and DIN. 
so we can either choose a default standard from the insert toolbox so we can select an either type of uh, toolbox or whole component which we would like to add over here and then it will be helpful for us to do some editing in the toolbox we can also add old connection assembly various define the adding balloon to it drawing entities connection assembly of various different standard sizes and configuration Additionally, we can easily edit them, adapt the configuration based on design, updates, easily create detailed drawing by adding surface images and welding symbols, design and add ballooning to the drawing entity. Insert different types and configuration of prints and title blocks. We can also uh, keep a track in changing in the drawing by creating revision tables with links to revision symbols. Okay. So we'll just take the overview of the toolbox component. So as we've seen, there are around 7,000 standard components available in the library with the available components such as screw, nut, bolt, washer, pole and pin. With the available uh, standard components, there are also standard uh, based components also available which are ANSI, ISO, BIN, EIS and GSI. So with the available uh, toolbox component, we can we will be able to reduce the time and effort uh, for creating the drawing available. Only. We'll take a look at the power tools which are available in the application. So, Draftlight also supports variety of drafting and design tasks. So, drawing compare that helps to compare two drawings to see difference between the entities. So, uh, there are four power tools available. So, first we'll be seeing at the drawing comparison tool. We'll open first drawing click on the open option and the next tab will open the another drawing so which will help us in comparing the two drawings uh, so we will also able to check what are all the changes that needs to be done in the uh, we have done in the first drawing as compared to your second drawing okay. so this is a drawing comparison tool available in the application then the next tool we will be seeing is the G code generator. For it, we'll be opening one file, DXF file over here. So, with the help of G code generator, we'll create some codes, G code, so that you can send the data to a CNC machine. So, let's select it and then we'll click on the option of save. So, which will save your G code generated file at a particular location. So, this is your G code generated file which you can share to the CNC machine. The next tool we'll be seeing is your image tracer tool to convert images to a vector diagram. So, we've inserted one image, select it. And with the help of image tracer tool, we'll convert it into an a vector diagram, two D vector diagram. So, as we have gone through the power tools, so we have seen the power tools which are available in the application which is uh, your 
drawing comparison tool then they are 2d g code generator and the other one is your image tracer so now next we'll be seeing with the customize and lip support uh, in the application after it is easy to customize allowing you to create your own workspace tailored to your preference you can define what element to include or exclude from the workspace providing a personalized working environment additionally you have the flexibility to load any previous you file although you can need to make adjustment to ensure compatibility with the draftpad customization setting once the great aspect of draftpad is then you can open source application this means you can incorporate auto libs files and visual libs if you have any these files can be utilized to streamline your daily task and enhance your workflow so draftpad empowers you to tailor the application to specific needs and streamline your drafting process then we summarize the customize and lib support easy to customize allowing us to create and uh, preferred workspace which will help us creating and adding customized tools uh, as per our preferences then it is also easy for us to load an auto lib file and visual lib file in the application which will help in creating our customizing our task so it is easy to create on your add-in next we'll be seeing the 3d environment available uh, in the application Rough site provides a dedicated command and tools for creating, editing 3D solid surfaces and meshes. You can easily create complex 3D object by excluding fitting, lofting, and revolving 2D entities. These tools enables you to build interactive geometry and add depth to your design and create a 3d solid model like this so we'll just summarize with the 3d environment that we, we have gone through the application so the 3d environment tool will have an uh, capability of converting your 2D uh, vector images into uh, 2D drawing diagrams into a 3D solid files and surfaces and meshes. Advanced tool like push pull, which will help to apply fusion operations. Then, with the help of dynamic EPS mapping, Draftset provides comprehensive set of tools that add in conceptualize your ideas. The next will be seeing as the sheet set manager. I have consolidated my whole project using the sheet set manager. Sheet set manager lets us create, organize, and manage drawing sheets within drawing sheet set. Create sheet set subset which are often associated with uh, disciplines. We can renumber or reorder them in a tree. We can batch publish sheets to PDF. Pack and go project in one go and really share it with stakeholders. So we'll summarize with this. So the sheet sheet manager is available in the draft rate enterprises from the 2021 version and the newer versions which are available uh, right now. So also with the help of the sheet set manager, which will let us create, organize our or manage our drawing sheets within the drawing sheet set which uh, and which also helps us in pack and go your whole project so uh,
so there is one more uh, poll question available for you so you can go and scan this code and just answer the questions in the form and just submit it We'll wait for another one more minute. So uh, with this, I'll summarize my presentation. So DraftSite has the productive tools, functionalities, and file compatibility you need to create, edit, view, and mark up any 2D or 3D DWG file with speed and efficiency. With this, I end up my presentation and hope you will make uh, DraftSite as your companion in your daily work. Thank you.